start in the QBO gym. And the QBO gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Each month covers a variety of new topics and scenarios, and to make it a little bit easier for you, we break it down into four different sections. So if you're looking to work on your bookkeeping skills, this is the place for you. And if you wanna do a deep dive and do some of these on your own, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. But let's get into today's exercise, which is coming from our May Year One Strength Training section where we really focus on journal entries. At the top here is an animated video to give you an understanding of what you, the bookkeeper, will be doing for your client, Craig, this month. Below that are some um, is an interactive pre-assessment quiz that relates to the video up above. Under that are all of the exercises in this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have gone through all of the exercises in this section, you will unlock some sample marketing posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's dive into today's exercise where we're going to practice recording amortization journal entry. Go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise pulled up for you. I have it over here on the right side of my screen, so let's read through the scenario. Craig's annual business insurance bill came due last month. Craig paid it immediately, but having reports show the one lump payment of $2,400 in a single month makes him feel like his expenses are lopsided and unpredictable. He asks you if there is anything you can do about it. Yes, you can. You can use a recurring journal entry to spread out that one lump payment into what looks like even monthly expenses in reports. This is often referred to as amortization. So let's go ahead and see how to do this. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left side of my screen. This is the dashboard where we, where we will work for this exercise and when you sign in, what it will look like. But let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. The first thing that we need to do is record Craig's lump sum payment. So to do that, we need to click on the plus new button and then select expense. So the plus new button is on the top left corner of the screen, click on that, and then under vendors, select expense. Now, once it pulls up for us, we are going to go ahead and fill it out. In the payee field, we want to select Brosnahan, Brosnahan, I think that's how you pronounce it, insurance agency. So go ahead and click on that down arrow in the payee field. They are the third one that is listed. Go ahead and click on it. Now you will notice that as soon as you clicked on their name, a bill will appear in the pop-up drawer, which is right here. For the purposes of this exercise though, we are just going to ignore it. So you can click on the arrow to collapse that pop-up drawer. The arrow is right here, just to the left of it. And now we have just the expense uh, transaction open here for us to work with. For the purposes of this exercise, we're going to assume that Craig paid this from the checking account. So we're going to leave it as is. Of course, in real life, you wanna check with your client to make sure that you know where the money came from. So we're gonna leave this payment account as checking. In the payment date field, let's select the last day of last month. And just know that your day may be a little bit different than what you see right here. So for me, the last day of last month is April 30th. So I'm going to select that. Be sure to do the same thing. Um, by the same thing, I mean the last day of last month. Okay, so on the first line in the category details or category field, excuse me, we're going to type prepaid insurance and then select plus add new prepaid insurance because we need to create a new one here. So click into that category field, go ahead and type, um, sorry, prepaid insurance. It is currently not, um, uh, it is currently not created, so we need to create it. So go ahead and click on that. And now let's go ahead and create that new account by uh, filling out the form. The payment will be stored in an asset account, which will then be distributed to an expense account throughout the year. 
So the account type is going to be other current assets. So click that down arrow in the account type field and then other, excuse me, other current assets is uh, the second one listed there. In the detail type field, we want to select prepaid expenses. So click that down arrow, and then you're going to need to scroll down a little bit. It's towards the bottom. Go ahead and select prepaid expenses once you find it. Now, because the account name was typed in that uh, category field on the expense transaction, it now shows in the name field that prepaid insurance. And so everything is good to go. All we need to do is click on the green save and close button. So go ahead and click on that. And now that new account has been created. But let's go ahead and add a description for this expense. It is going to, in the description field, say coverage for 12 months starting and then one day after the payment date. So go ahead and click into that description box. Go ahead and type coverage for 12 months starting. And for me, it would be the day after this payment date, which would be May 1st. Your date may be a little bit different, um, but go ahead and put that date in there. In the amount field, we want to type 2400 since that is how much he paid. So click in that amount field, type 2400. When you hit the tab key over, you will see that QBO has updated the amount of this expense. Everything is good to go. So now we can just go ahead and save and close out of this. That is the green button on the bottom right corner of the screen. And now that expense has been saved. You can see it right there. Now that the lump sum payment is set up, we'll use journal entries to distribute that payment to an expense account throughout the year. So to create that journal entry, we want to click on, we want to click on the plus new button and then select journal entry. Plus new button on that top left corner, once again, click on that, and then under other, select journal entry. Now, once it comes up for us in the journal date field, we want to select the day after the payment date. So um, your, again, your date may be different, but it is that date that we had in that description field. So for me, it is going to be May 1st. So go ahead and do the same thing. In the journal number field, you want to type 2000 or 2003 expense um, insurance expense. So what I have right there, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to type in 2023 insurance expense. On the first line in the account field, we want to select insurance. This is the expense account that the money is moving to. So um, go ahead and click into it. You can click the down arrow and start scrolling through the expenses. Um, here is insurance right here. It is an expense account. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. In the debits field, we want to type $200 since that is what it would be for a month, $2,400. Over those 12 months would be $200 a month. So in the debits field, go ahead and type 200. Now on the second line in the account field, we want to select prepaid insurance. And this is the asset account that the movie that the money is moving from. So let's go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and click into it. This time I'm just going to start typing in prepaid to have that account show up for us. And it is the prepaid insurance account that we just created. So go ahead and click on that. And once it is selected um, in the account field, QBO will automatically fill in the credits field to equal the amount of the debt in the debits field. We're going to leave this as is. Just as a note here, debits and credits must always equal each other. And so that is why QBO is just assuming that what should be in this credits field is going to match what is here in the debits field. And so that is what we want for this exercise. And so we are going to leave it as is. Now let's go ahead and save this journal entry by clicking on the black save button that is on the bottom right corner of the screen. Click on that. And now it has been saved. And now that it has been saved, let's make this journal entry recurring every month so that you don't have to remember to do it. So we're going to click on make reoccurring that is down here in the middle of the black bar. 
This information will appear for us once we do that. Let's give it a name. We're going to, in the template name field, type insurance expense. So click into that field. Go ahead and type insurance expense. We want the journal entry to be automatically to automatically be entered, excuse me. So leave the type field as scheduled, which is right here. Um, in the days in advance, we don't need this any time in advance, so we can just do it on the day that it's due. So you can go ahead in this and just type a zero to indicate that it doesn't need to be in advance of the interval that we set. A monthly interval on the first day of the month is automatically selected. As you can see that it's on a monthly first day of each month. By leaving the start date blank in this field right here, the template will automatically begin on the next occurrence of the interval. So next month um, on that first day of the next month. In the end field, we want to select after because this will end at some point. So click that down arrow, select after. In a real life scenario, you could be more specific with the end date, but the, damn, the, the dates in the sample company are very tricky um, and these exercises. So since you just saved the first occurrence, we're just going to say it will end um, after 11 remaining for this year. So in the occurrences field, let's go ahead and type an 11. And now we have saved it. So now each month, this journal entry that we just created is going to be automatically created um, so that you do not have to remember to do that. So we are good. Let's go ahead and save the template right there on the bottom right corner of that screen. That recurring journal entry has now been saved and that is how you would record um, the prepaid expenses. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. We move through the strength training section with our next and last exercise, where we practice recording a sales summary journal entry. And I will see you in the next video.